Hey everybody. Today we're doing some more data wrangling in R using the group by and summarize commands. Both of these verbs are found in the dplyr package in the tidyverse family of packages. I've already loaded those up with library tidyverse and I've pulled up some help files here. You can see the one for group by there in the lower right hand pane. In this vid we're going to work with the classic diamonds data set. I've pulled up the head of that. That's built in with the ggplot2 package. You can see it consists of 53,940 rows, 10 variables. Most of them are quantitative, a few of them are categorical as well. So the summarize verb does what it says on the tin. It's going to give you summary statistics of the different columns in your data frame. So for instance, at its most basic level, we can just do summarize. Let's take the diamonds data set and let's get the mean of the price. 3,933. The summarize verb, like every verb in the dplyr package, takes a data frame, a tibble, as its input, and gives you one back as well. Here, the output was a very simple tibble, a very simple data frame, just one row and one column. So we've really, this has been some overkill. This is a much higher power tool than we really need to get just the mean price of diamonds in this set. The real power of the summarize command gets unlocked when we combine it with the group by command. Group by, like summarize, takes data frames as, as its input and gives them back as an output, technically tibbles. And this means that both of these functions play nicely with the pipe operator. So let's take advantage of that fact. Let's take diamonds and pipe it in to the, this new group by command. Remember, that means that diamonds is going to be the first argument in this group by command. So I don't have to type diamonds now inside of group by. Now I need to specify a categorical variable. I'm going to specify that I want diamonds sorted, not sorted, but um, grouped according to cut. If I just execute this command right now, the output isn't particularly interesting. It looks very much like what I had before, a tibble with the same number of rows and the same number of columns. The only difference is that there's one additional attribute in this tibble, a groups attribute. So underneath the hood, R is recognizing that the diamonds are all grouped according to their cut. Typically, we only interact with that indirectly, most typically through the summarize command. Let's see how that's going to work. Let's do exactly the same summarize that we did a minute ago. Let's do the mean price. This time we get a tibble with five rows one for each level of that cut categorical variable. So what we're seeing here is that the average price of all the diamonds of fair cut is $4,359 and so on down the line. Now I've been spelling summarize with an S, the New Zealand spelling, uh, British spelling. You can also use a Z. I'm in the United States. That's more common. Let's see with um, these tibbles. There's several things that we could do to make them more elaborate or just nicer. For instance, we could change the column name to average price. Specify that right inside the summarize command. We can add more than one column at a time. So how about average carat? And let's do the mean carat weight of these diamonds. Great. So you can see the column names I've specified. And now I have two additional columns instead of just one. We can group by categorical variables that we make up on the fly. So for example, let's group by, let's take ones that are bigger. So how about ones for which the caret is bigger than one? And once again, we'll pipe that into the same summarize command that we've been doing. Let's get the mean of the price. And while I'm at it, I will make that look nicer. There we go. OK, so um, for the smaller diamonds, the average price is $1,787. For the larger, it's $8,400. Lovely. We can group by two variables. We can group by caret and by cut. And now when I execute this command, I'm going to get every combination of true and false for this and the five categories for cut. So that's why I have 10 rows in my tibble here. You can see the average price for each combination of those two categorical variables. Now in this data frame, 
caret greater than one isn't the greatest name for a variable. Let's specify that right here in the group by command. Let's call that uh, category big. So now I have big as the name of the column in this tibble. We can do all of our usual things with this tibble. For instance, we could do a plot. So let's do that. Let's uh, pipe this tibble into a ggplot command. We've already specified the data frame as the first argument of our ggplot, so we just have to start in on some aesthetics. And in this case, let's see here, I want to get some sort of bar chart where I can see average prices broken down according to these variables, and I'm going to want to group them accordingly. So on the x-axis here, let's put cut, let's color it according to whether or not they are big, and on the y-axis, let's get the average price. I'm going to want a bar chart for this. I think it's geom call is the one that I want. Oh, and it's not actually color. I'm going to want fill for my bars. And I need to specify a position on this so that they're next to each other, not on top of one another. It's dodge. Let's take a better look at this. Great. That's just what I'm looking for. So here I can see how the average price of the diamonds in this data set break down according to the cut and to the size. In particular, I see as the cut gets better, so on the horizontal axis, fair, good, very good, premium, ideal, the bigger diamonds are going up in price, while the smaller diamonds, represented here in the, the sort of pinkish, reddish, orange, are going down in price. So that's potentially interesting. One more thing that I would like to do to wrap up this video is to use the group by command in conjunction with something other than the summarize command. So let's take diamonds here and uh, we'll again group it, we'll pipe it into group by. And this time let's just group it by cut. But now instead of getting a summary on this, let's do a mutate. So remember, mutate is going to add a new column or potentially replace a column in my data frame. So let's get a new column. Let's call it average price by cut. And we'll do the same thing that we've been doing before. Let's get the mean price. And if I just execute that right now, it's going to put it in my console. So let's, let's go ahead and save this to how about diamonds2. And then we can take a look at that. We've added a new column here. And if you look down this column, there are only going to be five values in it. For instance, here you see 4584.258. Here you see it repeated. What it's doing is it's taking the average price of all diamonds with an ideal cut, premium cut, good cut, and so on and putting the correct average in the cell in this new column. So that's potentially useful. Last thing while we're at it, notice what happens if we do a summarize command on diamonds two. And on this one, let's, well, let's stick with what we've got. Let's get the mean price. So that grouping has been preserved and you can see that we are getting the mean price for each of these groups. Now, you might not always want that. I really should have used a pipe here. So let's, uh, let's gonna make a little more work as I retype this. Let's take diamonds two. And um, before we get that summarize command, let's get rid of those groups. The command we want there, naturally enough, is ungroup. And then finally, summarize, and let's get the mean price. And hopefully, we'll just get back that tibble with one value in it. There it is, the mean price of all the diamonds in the set, $3,933.